You know, the way that I built my business was solely through networking. When I first started my coaching business 15 years ago, I did not have a marketing budget. So the only thing I could do was join a networking group. And in less than six months, I had a full practice of full paying clients. And I wanna share with you the number one cardinal rule that they teach in networking, and I'm gonna tell you to break it. You see, what they tell you to do is whenever you go to a networking event, always take your cards, whether it's a chamber event, a social event, uh, a regular meeting that you go to every week for networking. They always tell you to take a card and give a card. And I do not like that and here's why. When I meet somebody at a social function, at a business function, at a networking meeting or anything like that, if they're potentially my ideal client or they have a referral that might be my ideal client, the last thing I want to do is give a business card to that stranger and now put my business in the hands of a stranger. Because when I give a business card, I am now no longer in control of that follow-up and being the control freak that I am or as Jim would say, the control enthusiast that I am. Thank you for that reframe, Jim. When I can get a business card, now I am in charge of the follow-up and that's where I wanna be. I wanna be in charge of the follow-up and follow-through so that I can guide that potential client, that prospect down the path that is able to capture that lead and add them to my mailing list, that it takes them down that path that allows them to make a buying decision so they can eventually take action to book a sample session, purchase my package, or an enroll in the program that I'm offering. So whenever you're going to a networking event, don't take any business cards. Don't take any business cards. And when you walk up to someone, they're like, oh, can I have your business card? You just smile on the inside and say, you know what, I didn't bring any. Let me get yours and I'll follow up with you. It works beautifully. Now, Kate, my business partner, she adds a little twist. She says that the only time you can give a business card is if you first get a business card. But it's so easy to fall into the trap of, oh, fine, great, here, and you give a business card, and next thing you know, you've handed out 20 business cards, but you don't have 20. So be in charge of your business, take control of the follow-up, and don't take any business cards to your networking event. Always ask for theirs and you be the one to be in charge of the follow-up. It will improve your chances of booking those sample sessions. It will increase your mailing list and it will increase your conversion rates, I promise. Give it a try. Let me know below what your tip is to make sure that you're in charge of the follow-up after networking and connecting at business functions. I can't wait to hear from you.